This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1551. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the big game hunter, and welcome. It's Monday. I've had a lovely weekend, and this is going to be a short show today, a couple of minutes, which is what I always try and do, but this one feels a little shorter, and it's about one of those stupid resume mistakes that people make much too often. I hope you find this show helpful, and my thinking is, let's just get going. This is a video, this is a a quick hangout that deals with the mistake of having a resume that's way too long, and frankly, it just turns people off. Recently, I received a resume from someone who said, give me advice, and I'm staring at this 10-page monstrosity uh, that someone sent, thinking that I'm going to go word word for word and, and do a critique of their resume for free. I'll tell you what was wrong with the resume. It was an eight-point font, 10 pages long. Do you think anyone's going to read an eight-point font? Look at me. I'm in my 60s at this point. The font size is too small. The resume is too long. You're talking about things from 100 years ago that no one cares about. And if you got a job using that experience from 10 years ago uh, or more, you know, you probably don't want to do that job, right? You know, do you really want to go back to what you did a long time ago? And as a consultant, they were in a lot of different places doing a lot of different things. And 10 pages is just ridiculous. Emphasize the last few years. Minimize the older material. It, you know, get your resume down to two and a half, maybe three full pages tops. That's it. Put it in a respectably sized font, sized font that you know people who are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s can read because that's who your hiring manager is. So just be aware that if you send something that is obscenely long, all you're doing is causing someone to hit the delete button. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, It's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. Have a few questions? Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling in time for Magnify or Presto Experts, speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.